Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Saturday the 10th of February. Well, wow, where is this month going? It's just flying. So um, today it's just going to be another What I Eat In A Day video. I am following um, Weight Watchers, but also counting my calories um, just to make sure that I'm eating enough and to allow myself those treats and things so that I don't feel restricted. Um, and I am doing the 75 Soft Challenge and it is day five of that. So we'll just be including little elements of that in this video as well. So if that's something that you are interested in or you know, you'd know you like to know more about, then please continue watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then consider subscribing too. That'd be absolutely fab. If you're already subscribed and you're coming back again, thanks guys for for supporting me and helping me along my journey. So I hope you're all well. Um, it's quite late actually. It is nearly half past 11. I'm just gonna grab a quick bite to eat. I've just been like faffing about this morning, getting ready and I had a couple of videos to film. I've got, um, I had to film my Discovered Beauty box. So that'll be up on my channel now if you want to go and see that. I'll give you a little sneak tip just now anyway before I go out. So yeah, I just need to, get some breakfast very quickly and um, then we're gonna go up to the designer outlet and then um, have a little mooch about there, have a coffee. I've got um, one of my jumper dresses that I got from New Look the other week. Let me, I don't know if I can show you properly. It's really, this is not a flattering angle, but anyway, it is really comfy. I've got some nice, like thick fleecy tights on with it. And I'm just gonna stick some boots on. Got a really nice jacket, my coat from Asda, from George. I'll show you it before we go out. It's so beautiful and it was really cheap. And it looks, I just like wanna look, feel like nice, you know, and um, getting on with my water, which I'm finding easier and easier to drink. I'm having to drink three liters of this every day for, um, as part of my challenge. And honestly, I'm feeling so much better for it. And, I didn't even realise until I was about to go to bed, I didn't have a single can of Pepsi Max yesterday at all. Um, it was just like unbelievable. I just can't believe it. My teeth are getting whiter. They don't look it, but yeah, my teeth are definitely getting lighter and that's just from drinking more water and less Pepsi. So I'm really happy about that as well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and grab something to eat and then I'll take you shopping with us. my workout and I have got the most annoying flashing spotlight oh my gosh I can't reach it it's too dark to do it without it so I'm gonna hopefully it'll warm up in a minute if not it's like a disco um so I think it's like arms today and I've had a quick look through the program and it's got some like cable pull downs so I have used this quite a bit in the past and um, like my multi-gym but I've never actually used the pull down part of it, well, I've used like the like the bar to pull down, but not the like the cable pulls. Ah, 
the light is on it's warmed up good so i'm going to just have a bit of a fiddle about and get that all ready so that hopefully we'll have a sleep a seamless workout i think it's all mainly upper body today um, i'll show you quickly what we're going to be doing yeah so it's a pull day so we need resistant bands mats dumbbells barbell bench cable machine and rope um so we've got a, a few things here so we shall see how we get on um yeah so i'm really looking forward to it i'm loving it it is currently it's 10 to 5 i need to get this done um and i've been to morrison's and i have bought a couple of sirloins we're having a steak night tonight so i'm really looking forward to that so yeah i'm gonna work hard now and then go and pig out <laughs> i think i'm sorted <laughs> maybe <laughs> we'll soon find out i've got no idea if that chain's meant to be on there or not but it'll be re at least i can reach it easier today i really enjoyed it um a few things so i actually don't think i've got the right attachment i think it's meant to be a rope attachment so i'm going to look online and get one of those um and yeah it's just about getting your technique and things like that i need some heavier dumbbells for um like the bent over rows so i need some of those so that's fine which is good and um, what else oh so i had like really upbeat fast paced music when I was working out and that really helped me and it sort of helped me get a good rhythm with my weights and things just to keep in a consistent sort of like smooth pattern and then I just changed it to some really chilled out music when I was doing my stretches and actually that was a really nice way to end the workout so yeah I'm really pleased with it and um, that's it done and it is oh my gosh it's 10 to 6 I need to go and cook tea steak night though yum Hello! So, workout is all done. Um, I've just had a really lovely message from somebody that watches my videos um, just say like to forget all the haters and that she's really enjoying my videos and things. And that, honestly, that means so, so much. It's far more important to me than any haters. So, yeah, thank you ever so much. Honestly, I appreciate it. It's like, yeah, do you know what I'm feeling? So good. I am loving being back in the gym. Just, I mean, and I am really lucky because I know I've got it immersed on my garden and I'm dead, dead lucky. But I've just not used it for so long and I'm just delighted I'm finally using it. Now, let me show you what I've picked up for my sister. I'm going down to see her tomorrow. Is it wrapped up? Oh, so no, so it's, um, she'll have it by the time this video goes up. So she loves Radley handbags. So I've been and bought her a bag. Oh, see the bag, that's not even on straight. That's actually slightly annoyed me. But anyway, look at this bag. It is gorgeous. I just thought the spring coming. How beautiful is this? You can't see it because it's all, it's all wrapped up in bits, but it is a beautiful, the lighting's dreadful. Come with me, hang on. I'm not convinced this is better. You can't see probably it's like an apple, green it's not a lime it's just a really like pastely green it is so gorgeous and then this tag in here it sort of dangles down as like a key like a, a round key ring with the little radley dog which also comes down as a dangle it's just hidden in there um it's just such a lovely lovely bag um and it's got a little sort of pocket in here at the back it's just beautiful um, it has some gorgeous bags. I think I'm going to go back and get myself a few because honestly, they're so nice. But um, yeah, that's what I've got her for her birthday. And then I've got um, a picture frame. I'll show you once I've done it. Um, let me just pack that away again. Um, so let me just put this in here. Oh, it's just, I hope she likes it. <laughs> she loves Bradley bags. She's got so many. So I just thought it would be a little bit different 
um, and it's just nice to have somebody buy you a handbag. Right, so put that in there. So yeah, I've got a photo frame as well, which just says happy 50th birthday, and it's, it's just really pretty, and I'm gonna put a picture of me and her when we were in New York in December. So she's got that then to, um, to keep as well. So yeah, I'm excited about going down to see her tomorrow. Right then, I'm gonna get on with dinner. Um, and as I said, we're just gonna have steak. So I'll show you what I have once it's done. I'm not gonna bother um, filming as a cook because honestly, I'm starving and I just want to get it made, but I'll show you. And then I'm gonna have a little chat with you later on because I've got a couple of ideas about how to um, sort of discuss a bit more about the Weight Watchers points and calories for each meal. I'm just thinking about after, um, when I'm doing the editing bit, after each meal maybe just to do the split screens then would that be more useful so then you've got um i can discuss the weight watchers points and the calories for that meal and then talk a bit more about any decisions about um and the extra treats or things i have in the day i mean i am still within my points this week i've done really well considering i've been out and i did sort of try and track my meal and put my wine in and things when i was out on thursday night um, and I think the exercise is helping so much because it is um, earning me points, <laughs> which is great. But yeah, I'm losing weight. I'm, I got weighed again this morning. I do jump on the scales every day and my weight is coming down, 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 which is fantastic. But I'm feeling so much slimmer and less bloated. And oh, I'm, I'm just honestly, I'm so happy. I know I just sound like a stuck record, but um I think just once you see, or once you sort of, yeah, I don't know what, just once you sort of start feeling that things are going right, it spurs you on to do more. I think because I'm exercising and wanting to eat better, and then uh, definitely the 75 soft challenge is just sort of helping to keep me like motivated. And But now I've started it, I've got to do it, and I'm thinking like, oh, I need to do my exercise. I've not done my exercise today. And like, you don't need a challenge to tell you to go and exercise, but just sort of being committed to that challenge is all like the kick up the backside that I needed really. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go get some food and I'll show you what I've got once we made it. We got, um, we did get a couple of sirlines from Morrison's by then because it's Saturday. So if you've got your club card, so I went to the butcher's um, counter in Morrison's and do you know the guy was great? He opened a new pack of sirloin for us and cut off the end and he says, how, how big do you want them? cut them and then because it's a Saturday you get 20% um, off your steaks at Morrison's on a Saturday. I don't know if you knew that or not but also if you use your Morrison's card um, like your club card thing and um, you get I think it was eight pounds a kilo <laughs> of your steaks. So it was meant to be 24 I don't know was it meant to be 24 pounds a kilo and it was down at, let me do my maths, oh, 16, it was down at 16 pounds a kilo. And then you got 20% off that again as well. So it was like virtually half price for our steaks by the time we paid for them, which was like amazing. So yeah, right, I'm gonna go cook them. Yummy. I'm gonna have some um, roasted veg with mine. Glenn's having the rest of his sweet and carrot mash and he's gonna have some peas. Um, we don't want chips or anything with them. So yeah, it's gonna be not a bad tea really, point-wise on the thought. Obviously, it's not a white meat, it's red meat, so I'm gonna have to point my steak, but to be honest, I don't mind because it's still, um, it's, it's nice meat and it's important to have your meat and um, I'm gonna have it. <laughs> okay, just thought I'd pop on to let you know that this is the um, veg that I've picked up in Morrison's and it's scanning up at zero points. So that is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you are doing calories, it is, oh, I can't, it, 59 calories for half a pack. So yeah, that's not bad, is it at all? It's just pretty negligible. It's just um, like this red onions, courgettes, peppers. Um, what else is it? Yellow pepper. I think it's just courgette. Where are we? Peppers, red onion, courgettes, and cherry tomatoes. There's nutritional info. So yeah, I am not going to put it in the oven. I'm going to try and air fry it, I think, and that should probably do it a little bit quicker because I'm starving. Oh, 
hear our mistakes. Hang on a wee minute. So the chapter I've just been reading is all about building habits and that there are four steps in building a habit, which are known as the habit loop. So you've got the cue, the craving, the response and the reward. Um, and so this is pretty much everything. These take place in every single habit that is formed. And yeah, it's pretty much set. They give an example of like walking into a dark room. So you want to be able to, so that's the cue, the room is dark. You want to be able to see. You switch the light on, you can see. That's a really simple thing. But you now do that without even thinking because it has become a habit. You've learned that, that if you turn the light on, you can see in a dark room. So it just takes you literally a split second to be able to go through all four steps. And it's just like, you think, oh my gosh, yeah, it's a learned behavior through um, trial and error, um, finding a response to get a gratifying reward. And you know, I'm just thinking about, let me shut this book, I don't want to get copyrighted or for anything. But you probably notice that a lot of times I will have, let me turn you around. Yeah, Leo. Yeah, you'll notice that a lot of times, most evenings, I'll have a bar of chocolate. And I've actually realised this is now something I just do out of habit. Not because I want a bar of chocolate. Initially, it have started off because I wanted a bar of chocolate. And I actually think probably initially it started when I was on Slimming World. And I had sins to use. Because before Slimming World, I would never have eaten a bar of chocolate every night. And I do think, I thought, oh, I've got 15 sins. I need to use them. I'm going to reward myself with treats. And I think that's what I've done. So like the cue was used, you know, I need to use my treats. So I was like, cue. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember the cycle now. So the cue would have been like, I need to use my treats. So the craving, I'll have something nice. So the response was, I'll have a bar of chocolate. The reward was, I've used my sins. I've had something nice and I've really enjoyed it. And I've repeated that night after night after night. And I'm not even doing Slimming World now. And yet still, I'll have a bar of chocolate every single night. So I'm going to continue reading through this book. And I'm going to apply my nightly bar of chocolate to these rules and see about how to undo bad habits. Because this is a really bad habit I've got into. And literally, we'll have our dinner every night. And then maybe after about an hour or so of having our evening meal, my husband will normally say, so he's actually got the bad habit. I need to break his bad habits because he'll be like, oh, um, or he'll come through and say, oh, here's your bar of chocolate. And I don't even ask for it. And I'm not even thinking, oh, I want a bar of chocolate. And he'll bring it through. And we both have a bar of chocolate. And that's like absolutely crackers. It's like seven bars of chocolate a week that I don't really, maybe want one or two. But I don't need seven. So, yeah, this is going to be something I'm going to be looking at. I think it's really, really interesting. Um, when I did my nursing degree, I absolutely loved psychology. So this book is just really ticking so many boxes for me. Um, I actually love the way, like, the, the human brain works. And, yeah, I just find it absolutely fascinating. Um, also just feeling like it's just given me such great insight already even just like a little bit in I'm just honestly it's brilliant it's so good please please give any recommendations of um, like self-improvement books anything like that down below because once I finish this I really do think I want to read some more Um, I'm really ready to just start making changes and sort of trying to become like a better version of myself I think it's just, I don't know if it's like an age thing or what, I don't know. Or maybe just now that I've not got the stress of work, that I'm just able to sort of think about things like this. But I don't know, I find it absolutely fascinating. I am loving it. Okay, I'm going to finish off in the morning. It's a little bit late. I've had I've had a few wines tonight. Um, 
I've had a lovely little date night, me and Glenn. It's been super cute. Um, so I will finish off in the morning with a roundup of um, Weight Watcher points and calories. It's all been logged, totally honest, transparent and above board. And I don't always tell you everything I'm having, but it'll always be there on the, the screen roll. So you can see exactly everything I've had. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'll see you in the morning just to finish off today's vlog. And then we'll start another vlog straight after. <laughs> okay, guys, see you later. So I have put the days of the week down the side to help me track a little bit easier. Fantastic. <laughs>